Welcome to today's video. Today, we're gonna be talking about my top five concealers. My top five current concealers, I gotta add the word current in there because I did do this video a year ago or a little bit longer, um, exact same video, top five concealers, and they've changed. There is one, though, there is one that has still made it into the cut, uh, but for the most part, the others are newer concealers that I've discovered since filming that last video. So things change, right? You can, your opinions can change. Not to say I don't love those concealers in the first video, which I'll link down below, but I found some new ones that I'm kind of loving. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. So let's get started. Okay, so I've got five concealers here in front of me and two of them are drugstore and three of them are high end. Now, for the most part, they all pretty have um, more on the medium or natural uh, finish coverage. There is one in here that I would say is more of a full coverage concealer, but the others I find are a bit more medium to natural or buildable. It's funny, you know, it's not like I've aged that much in the last year, but as I get a little bit older, I find that I want less full coverage from my concealer. Um, I'm just finding that it just doesn't look good on me to have a full coverage thick concealer. Maybe it does on camera, but as the day progresses, it just looks heavy, it looks creasy, it magnifies any texture. Now, when I'm talking about texture, for me personally, it's not a whole lot of fine lines and wrinkles under the eye. I mean, obviously when I make facial expressions, they pop up, but for me, I have these little dots under my eye, these little dots um, that tend to be more magnified when I have a heavier concealer on. So um, I'm gonna be sharing concealers that I think are great for more mature skin, skin that has some texture to it, dry under eye, uh, all of these would work really well. There is one that's a little more drier, full coverage that you have to be careful with, but overall I think they would be great products for a more mature skin, dry, textured under eyes. So let's go ahead and get started with the first one. Let's start with order of coverage maybe. Should we do that? Is that a good way to start? So the first one is the Charlotte Tilbury Color Corrector and I have the shade One Fair. This is what it looks like. So this product is really unique. I am putting it into this video as a concealer, um, but it also is a color corrector. So you can use this underneath a concealer, you can put this on and then put a concealer on top. It has more of a peach tone to it. So what that is gonna do is it's going to neutralize and cancel out uh, darkness under the eye. Because if you think about it, under eye area that's dark is not the same color as it is here on our cheek, right? It's not the same. It's probably got a blue or a green or a purple undertone to it. So you need to use something peach that is actually gonna neutralize and correct that darkness. Then you can go in and apply a concealer to conceal. I do find that this is versatile in the sense that you can wear this as a concealer. Um, it's got a very nice texture to it. It's uh, very emollient and creamy. It does need to be set though. If you don't set it, it can move a little bit because it is creamy in texture, but it's very hydrating. So if you have a dry under eye area, an area that has a lot of fine lines, um, this is really nice because it's gonna be just hydrating to that area. It's not going to magnify texture or dryness in the skin. It's a really, really, really beautiful product product. They have it in I think four shades total, maybe three or four shades. It's very flexible. So that's why they don't have it in, you know, 20 shades like they might have in a concealer because one shade can work for a range of skin tones, but this is such a beautiful concealer. Okay. The next product is offers a little bit more coverage, but it's still more on the natural side. It's got a beautiful texture and consistency to it. It is the Revlon Candid Concealer. And I really love this concealer. You guys, I love the applicator. It has this doe foot wand, but it also has a slight little like curve to the wand so it fits really nicely underneath the eye. It has a really like gel-like texture to it. So it just is so beautiful under the eyes. It blends out like a dream. It's so quick and easy to blend out. It feels good. It doesn't look heavy. You can get a fair amount of coverage. I would say you can build this to get a medium-ish coverage, but you're not gonna get a full coverage from it. It's um, really beautiful. I think the foundation that launched along with this concealer is also really beautiful. Um, I actually need to pull that out and wear that more often. When these two both came out, I really liked them both, but I really gravitated towards this concealer because it's just so nice. This is a great concealer to keep in your purse and touch up with because it is a lighter weight uh, product. You can kind of dab a little bit on top of makeup and blend it in and it's not gonna look heavy. It's gonna look really nice and just give a little bit of a brightening effect. Really great product to touch up with. Okay, so moving right along, um, about the same level of coverage but quite a bit higher in price point is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Concealer. So this comes in this wand, you pull off the lid. 
I actually don't really care for these applicators. They kind of get tricky and messy. Okay, so you kind of turn it and pull it up. This is what it looks like. So it's kind of like that sponge tip wand. We see this in the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer, which was in my first top five concealers video, which is also an all time favorite concealer. It's so great. I actually don't have one, I'm out of it. So this would be similar to that, very, very similar to that, but obviously a high end price. Uh, you twist it to get the product up. This has a really beautiful consistency to it as well. Well, all of these really do. The last one I'm gonna talk about is on the thicker side, so I don't know that I would say it has the same type of um, consistency, but these are nice. So this is gonna give you a pretty medium coverage. You can um, build it. I like the applicator because you can apply it kind of where you want it and kind of spread it out. You are gonna need a brush or a sponge or your finger to blend it out, though you can't really blend it out with this. It's not going to really blend into the skin. But I find this to be a great concealer for the days that maybe Maybe you're not going to wear foundation and you just want to put something under your eyes to brighten, but you need something that's natural enough so that it blends out into the rest of the skin that doesn't have foundation on and it doesn't look like you've just got like concealer and then nothing, you know what I mean? Uh, and this works great. When I go to the gym, sometimes I'll put this under the eyes and I'll even kind of just do a couple of swipes on the face, blend it in with a brush or um, with my moisturizer and it's really, really nice. The next product was in my original video and it still made it its way into this video because it's so good. It is the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. I adore this concealer. It gives great coverage. I would say that this is medium to full-ish coverage, uh, but it's much more hydrating than other full coverage concealers that I have tried. I remember picking this up, I think around the time that I got Shape Tape, is that right? Um, or I think I did a video comparing the two, I can't recall, but it has a um, really nice hydrating feel to it. It doesn't feel dry. It doesn't dry dry. This one is a little darker. Um, this is the shade medium one. I'm sorry, in medium one. I think this one is actually expired because it looks a little darker than it did when I first bought it. I've had it for a while. I should probably actually toss this one. Uh, but it just blends out so beautifully. It gives great coverage. It doesn't look heavy. None of these, all of these kind of check that box, right? I'm not going to put a concealer into this video that looks heavy or cakey or any of that. So I maybe I shouldn't have to say that for every one that I'm talking about, but it's just a really nice, th this is more of the full coverage side of all of these. If you're looking for something hydrating and that's full coverage, this would be the great option. The next one that's going to give you full coverage, but it's not as hydrating. It's more of a drier consistency. It's a very long wearing concealer though, is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. This is the newest concealer of the bunch, I think, aside from the Charlotte Tilbury. These two are the more newer products that I've purchased. This is what I wear on the nights that I'm like, putting the makeup on and, you know, caking it on for better, for a better lack of words. Uh, and I just want to look made up, you know, and I don't care that I look like I have a lot of makeup on. This is what I will use. This is also what I will use when I have a really long day and I want a full face of makeup and I don't want to worry about my concealer fading throughout the day. I, I want it to, I don't want to worry about it. Um, this one is really, really great. Uh, it's got great coverage. It is the more full coverage of all of the concealers here. And um, I have this shade. I also like the shade. It's 125 Light Natural. I have it in a little bit of a lighter shade, so it really gives me that brightness under the eye. This is what it is. looks like right here. really gives me that brightness under the eye, covers everything, dries and sets, and I don't have to worry about it all day long. Now, in particular with this one, I will apply this with a beauty sponge, a damp beauty sponge, because I need that to really blend under the eye area. If I'm working with a thicker product, I like to use a beauty sponge because it makes sure that I'm not going to over apply. You know what I mean? I'm not going to apply too much. It really kind of takes out that guesswork and makes a full coverage product look as natural as possible, but it's still going to look like a lot of makeup. And that wraps it up. You guys, those are my top five concealers currently. I would love to know what your favorite concealers are. Drop them in the comment section below. A lot of products I learn about through you guys. So I really appreciate when you give me your feedback on um, products that you are loving. So I will look out for those comments down below. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.